You want to spoil their college game oh, the way they did to God, you guys? That would be a dream. That would be a dream. If we go in there and we do it our way, high energy, offensive rebounding, playing tough, and we, so, you know, do what we're supposed to do, that would be a great moment for sure. Next, when you think back to the first Maryland game, uh, what would you say went wrong? And then also, what what do you what'd you like about what you guys did other than maybe the end? Uh, what sort of repeatable or translatable from that game into this one? Um, transition defense is something we got to get better at. I think they had, I don't remember the total, but they had a lot of fast break points, like more than usual. Um, for me personally, I like the way that I was finishing around the rim and being aggressive in the first half. Uh, it was more so I got to translate that to 40 minutes instead of just 20 minutes and being aggressive the whole game. Uh, and then down the stretch, you can't get caught up on defensive assignments. I left Jalen Smith open uh, to get their run started. So definitely got to do better of being sound and, and making them make tough shots instead of giving them open ones. Is that B game that sort of sticks out as, as one that maybe slipped away a little bit? I know you guys have had some close ones and been on both sides of it, but is that one that, I don't know, any more than any others that you think about or sticks out just for the That's way? up there. It's up there with the Indianas and the Wisconsins for sure. So the big man you've faced so far in the Big Ten has presented the most difficult challenge in terms of just one-on-one -on -one dealing with Mike Watkins was big. Yeah. He was he was a big a big guy. We didn't double. So like for him, I just kind of had to try to make it difficult for him to score. But he was just a, a, a big guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and just his size too. Yeah, I think yeah. he's like 6'10 or so. Yeah. So he was hard to guard. Um, O2 always plays with crazy energy, so obviously for 40 minutes you're going to get a battle out of him. And then obviously this last game, but possibly the Big Ten of the year. Even you know, people say like, hey, you shut him down, he still had 20 and 9. So, right, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> so right, he still played great. Going at each other, competing, knowing that, you know what I'm saying, all these games matter, and if we want to be the best team we possibly be, you know, these days are important. What do you think is the biggest thing that you guys have to remember to not get out to those slow starts and to not have those lows like the last three minutes of the Maryland game? Uh, just like I said, uh, attention to detail, you know what I'm saying, being in our positions, uh, what guys are getting shots, the type of shots you're shooting, all those things matter in games like this because any little thing can win or lose you the game. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. When you look back at the Maryland film, what do you see in the last few minutes of that game? Uh, we didn't. We just didn't. We didn't take the right shots. Uh, we let them get. Let their players get shots that we shouldn't allow in, a, in that time. Just knowing time and situation of the game and things like that. Just something that we got to do better at. Can you guys learn and become a better team from that film? As painful as that loss was, I mean the younger guys and so forth. Yeah, definitely. I think we have. You know what I'm saying? I think you know, showing the Iowa game that you know we got made better decisions down the stretch. Uh, got foul when we needed to. Got the ball on the side when we needed to. Got the stops that we needed. All those type of things kind of showed just our growth since that game. The half court shot at halftime that didn't count. Did that get you going a little bit? Does that help at all? Did that, did that, did that take the lid off? Of, does, that, does that do anything psychologically for the second half for what you brought in the second half? I don't really know. Uh, just maybe, think, maybe? Maybe, maybe. You know, just seeing one go in like that, you know, kind of helps your confidence seeing the ball go in. You guys feeling pretty loose right now? Izzo seems kind of loose. Yeah, he's, definitely. He's focused, but he seems loose. Definitely. Like I said, we're not, like I said, not a lot of pressure on us. You know, we're not really worried. Like, it's not a team that we can't beat, you know, things like that. Uh, just about us bringing our game. You know, we find a way to bring our game. I feel like we can play with anybody. And you got big names in the JP list and stuff like that. So you uh, you try to help those guys understand that they got a job, but you got a job to win this game. That's most important. So you know, it's cool and all to see all those guys. Um, you still got to lock in and do the job.